When I say upgrading, what I mean is that you already have a certain amount of gear and you want to become better. There's really five things I've been teaching now for about 13 years. I get asked these questions all the time and you'll be surprised to, to learn that lenses and the camera bodies are the last things that I recommend upgrading. So the number one thing that you should be looking at in terms of upgrading is your technique. Good camera body and a good lens can absolutely make a difference, but your gear is maximized when your technique has been maximized. You're gonna notice it far more when you know what you're doing. When we look at how we learn about photography, there's lots of tutorials, there's lots of courses you could buy, and you look at the cost. For example, my crash courses on cameras, 40 bucks at the time of this recording, and you're gonna learn everything about basic photography skills, composition, about the camera itself, and you will be using those skills for the rest of your life. Whereas you can buy a camera body and if you didn't really know how to use it, then you're not gonna really maximize its potential. So first and foremost, I always say invest in the techniques, in the knowledge. I look at photographers that I admire. Lindsay Adler, great example. I really like what she's doing with light. She has a brand new lighting course. I don't like this one as much, but it's really necessary is that if you're unfamiliar with Photoshop or Lightroom, Pretty early on, you're going to have to start familiarizing yourself with the software. Most of the magic happens in camera. I'd say 80 to 85% of what you're doing is, is gonna be happening in camera if you're doing it right. But that extra 15 to 20% that you're doing in your post-processing can make such a huge difference dramatically. So first learn the camera, learn the basics, get comfortable with what you're doing, then take a look at post-processing. Third thing I really try to recommend before you start upgrading gear is get a flash. So many beginning photographers are afraid of flash. They're intimidated by it, but because the costs have come down so far, you can get a Godox flash that's compatible with most camera systems for about $110. So when you're looking at the value of what you're getting bang for your buck, you know, you add a an off-camera commander, you're looking at maybe 160 bucks total. That's a tremendous tool. So item number four, it's a favorite of photographers to upgrade, it's your lenses. And what I have learned is that you should upgrade your lenses when you feel frustrated. Obviously there's times where you're gonna need a specific focal length, but the dirty truth about lenses is that the more you shoot, the fewer lenses you actually use. I've done many polls with the exception of wedding photographers, cinematographers, and some sports shooters. The vast majority of high-end shooters, people who are shooting often, are using one or two lenses only, believe it or not. And I have dozens of lenses. I don't even use almost all of them. The lenses I'm typically using are the 24 to 70 or the 24 to 105 range because I do a lot of video work. When you should upgrade your lens is when you feel this sense of frustration with what you are currently shooting. It's typically in regards to sharpness or your maximum aperture. Of course, if you have the focal length you already need. So the rule of thought on this is that I, I tell my students is to try to hold off on upgrading your lens until you're consistently frustrated. You can look at your images and say, this thing is bugging me at that point would be a good time to upgrade and take your old lens and sell it. The fifth and final, the last thing you should be upgrading is your camera body itself. This surprises a lot of people, but the truth of the matter is you're gonna get a lot more out of that camera when you've maximized the technique, you understand Photoshop and processing, you're comfortable with the flash, you have the lenses you need. Camera bodies are typically something that we see every three to four years. It's quite normal to upgrade. That's what I recommend. Try to avoid getting into the, you know, I gotta have the latest camera every six months. That's not what I recommend. I recommend trying to maximize what you have. And then when you start to feel that frustration, upgrade it. So I know that's a long answer, but I hope it answers your question. Technique, post-processing, learn your flash, get a new lens when you're frustrated, and then get the camera body. In any event, if you're struggling to learn your camera system, check out one of the many great crash courses. It'll be the best bang for your buck education that you will get. I'll put those links in the description. In any event, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.